we're doing next, we're going to make the egg bar shoe in the bar shoe qualifier for the Calgary Stampede. They haven't given us much information. They've given us what bar stock it is, how much bar stock it's made from, and that it's going to have side clips. They haven't defined right now where the side clips are and how many nail holes there are going to be per branch. So once they do that, I'll take the correct size shoe, peg shoe, I've got a Synchroy Advantage right here, number two. It's now at the right width. So when they tell me where the, nail where the clips are going to be, I'll work it out. So if they say the clip is now going to be between the second and third nail hole, I'll put a mark on the shoe where the clip's going to go. I'll measure from the center to the clip. That will tell me when I make my shoe from the center to the bob punch mark. And then once I put my bob punch mark in, I'll punch my other nail holes around it, two in front and two behind. If they tell me it's a three nail hole pattern per branch, and then they tell me where the clip's gonna go, either between the, so right now we've got, there's first nail hole, second nail hole, third nail hole. If they tell me the clip's gonna go between the first and second nail holes, I'll measure. That'll tell me where my bob punch mark has gotta go. And then I'll put one nail hole in front and two behind. So that I won't know until I get to Calgary, but that's how I'm going to work it out. So right now I'm going to do a three nail hole pattern with one nail hole in front and two behind. The time limit is 15 minutes and you've got to fuller the heel of the egg bar. So what we've made, flat bottom fuller that fits into the bottom of the concave. So when we fuller, we'll fuller right through the weld and that'll fix any distortion the weld causes. Step one, mark the middle of the shoe. The more times I put this shoe into the fire, the less time I have to work it on the anvil. So I'm going to look at trying to have as few heats as possible. So my first heat will be a long heat. I'll bend the toe, I'll bend the heel, I'll scarf it, I'll bend the branch, I'll punch my nail holes, I'll bob punch it, and I'll pritchel my nail holes. Okay, and I'll have half the shoe done in one heat. The second heat would be to bend the heel, to scarf it, to bend the branch, to bob punch it, to punch the nail holes, to pritchel the nail holes, and have the shoe ready for welding. Third heat will be a welding heat. So less heat means more working time on the anvil, and that's what's going to give us score, working time on the anvil. Thinking about the shape of the toe bend that I want, you notice I'm not hitting it very hard. If the hits are too hard, that's where you're going to damage the concave. Bend the, bend the bar, scarf it. Get the shape of the shoe that you want. Mark my bob punch mark. Nail holes the last time. So one heat, we got half a shoe made. Now we've got the shoe made and it's ready for welding. In the welding process, I'm going to weld it. I'm going to shape the back of the bar and I'm going to fuller it. And I'm going to try and get most of it done in one welding heat. I'll have a second welding heat just to finish the weld and to be able to rasp up the back half of the shoe. So I'm going to do two things again in this heat. Again, I don't put the flux on until my shoe is hot. 
clean the weld off, flex it, and then back to the fire. All the scarf chipped in. It's a complicated weld right now, so I'm gonna work all the edges. Shape in the back of the shoe. Concave. I'll start running my fuller through it. Now I can have my last welding heat and my rasping heat. Run through with a flat bottom fuller again. Break the device. I'll rasp the whole second half of the shoe. Now I'm going to clip it. What I'd like now is one final heat for this, the final shape up and the final leveling. That's it. Check it the size. 